All right. I think. Give it a second. Yep, there we are. I believe we're in. Did my little guy Julie got me? <laughs> oh. oh, it's a Grogu. It's so cute. We're live. Hello, everybody. Hey. Obsidian Grogu. Hello. Nice. Hello. How do you set, uh, real quick, I'm in, still in here, okay, in my channel. Can I set this to D&D &D so it recognizes the the D&D &D Beyond extension? Where do you do that? Um, while it's live, that's what I'm wondering. While you're, while you're live, um, I'm so used to doing it in Streamlabs, and there's, there's just usually a, there's a, a, a pencil at the top. Uh, you also should be able to press um, uh, uh, I don't see it in the video producer section. Stream manager. D and D beyond. No, I don't see D and D anywhere. Uh, hello, anybody? But no one's with us yet. Edit stream info. There you we go. Stream elements. Um, uh, tags, right? That's it. Right. No. It, it, well, it's, it's no the, category. It's category. Category. Yeah, category is what game you are. Um, Dungeon and the Dragons. All right. There we go. Done. Dungeon and the Dragons. Yeah. Dungeon and the Dragons. I, I have. Um, I've got like stream elements and all that stuff, so that I can do like slash edit and stuff like that for yeah, to change I'm not all, all that fancy stuff. like you are well i did it mostly because i have a great mod and my mod by doing that i allow them to have access to that to change that stuff for me when i change games so i don't have to okay so where is um oh it's not there anymore where is it oh there no that's not it marketplace tools tools there we go um twitch extension i gotta make sure this is going hey uh larry when did you get that uh surface pro july all right you have a surface pro 7 okay because i found the model that you said earlier the number surface pro 7 yeah the the one tb is the terabyte of space inside Okay. Dang, that little thing has one terabyte. That's awesome. Yeah, this thing's tiny. Yeah. So I think it's working. Um, D and D Beyond. Let me see if, if I go to my channel, I should. Be oh able to... shit! D and D Beyond. Did it's... you just do the first cuss word of the day already? Yes. Uh, <laughs> she's sorry. the she's the worst when it comes to doing that. She is a, like a sailor. What the I fuck, am. Alex? Oops. Uh <laughs> <laughs> this station is not uh, responsible for the yes, it's in there. D and D Beyond and interactive overlay. Yay. So you can click on it and actually, it's not update with hit points, but yay, they're all in there except the new guy. Pictures are so need to be updated. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, they can click on there and see your stats and everything right now. If they're watching live, if you're watching later on YouTube, I'm sorry that doesn't work with YouTube. So, welcome to Terror and Terrorfell, a D&D adventure, session number, uh, I don't know, 11, 12, somewhere like that? Uh, one of those, yeah. We're pretty far into this, aren't we? I'd like to think, like so. To think so. Okay. okay. And, and um, it's been so long, does anybody remember what happened last time? No. I okay. was at a, the armorer to try and get, I believe, a shield because I picked up a sword. I was waiting for him. Oh, okay. yeah, I think I was outside waiting for him. And Corey. Yes. You were uh, over all the way across the, the pond. I mean, across, almost to the pond, I should say. Almost to the ocean. Um, you were at the end of town, 
uh, at a uh, at the mayor's uh, clothing stand, I believe, right? Correct. So what do you want to do from there? I'm not going to put the map up for that one unless you decide to do something in the area. Uh, let's see. Well, he had said they were going to set up some kind of meeting about it. Yep. If I recall correctly. I okay. That's right. So, yeah, I guess that would pretty much resolve everything I had there. Um, you showed him the clothing, the the uh, cultist robe. And he recognized the evil yes, nature yes. of it. Yeah, she's done with that. She'll just uh, kind of browse the other cells. I don't think we really had a agenda for meeting up again. So, okay. Did okay. yeah. So, what are you just browsing the stalls? You're going yeah. back. You're at almost at the end of it near the the docks there. So you're going back up them back toward uh, Mrs. Clanigan's and stuff. At the other, they're up on a higher little plateau uh, in, in an esc escarpment up there <laughs> on another road, <laughs> on another a little uh, on the higher road, the, the church road up there. And um, magnificent cleaves, and you have just finished their terrapin. While meanwhile, outside, Sarth and Arlie are shooting the bull, I guess, just kind of sitting back and or standing, looking around. Um, you suddenly see, uh, maybe I should get my information up here, <laughs> my actual story stuff. Um, so I'm doing this off, off memory. I should get in there and actually do it off. Uh, all right, so you suddenly see some. Uh, what? Excuse me. Okay. Oh, no one's saying anything. Okay. No, um, that was you, I think, uh, echoing. Yes. Echoing. Okay. Boy, that was a mean echo. <laughs> that was a delay. Um, this. Uh, some sailors uh, start coming out of between the buildings there. Um, you can kind of see a magnificent cleaves armor, and then there's like another little building next to it and a tenement at the end. And they're all like coming up around there, around the tree there. There's like four or five. It's there's some coming out there, and you're like um, one of the big. There's a this big guy with a big bushy beard, and he's looking over at you, Thrash. And he's like. Oh, I see you uh, loitering on our street. Um, you're going to pay the tithe? You got some taxes for people who stay up here. Yeah, you got the wrong yeah. gift, buddy. I don't care what you are, buddy. And they all start looking kind of pissed. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna butt in and be like, get lost. And uh, I'm going to look really cool. Like, I'm going to have, like, some, uh, my flame ball in my hand so I look intimidating. You won't be paid today, so if there's something you got to do, do it. Did we just lose a connection? Or is this my iPad switch freaking out? Um, I'm, I'm okay. I yeah, I'm okay. Everything looks good. <laughs> then it's just my iPad, probably. <laughs> it's just, uh, probably doesn't have as much uh, as a normal computer with Twitch. Um, so I'm going to put you guys in front of there right now. So, Arlie. I was going to say, I think I'm fairly behind on the stream. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> Trash. So do you guys see yourselves on the... The screen, uh, or do you, we're. I might. Ha, I'll do a. Yeah, I'll do a um, sync for this, so ah. you guys can see everybody. Oh, oh, I see us. Okay. Um. So yes, they are all coming out of the woodwork. 
There's more? Oh, yes. There's uh, there's seven of them. Or eight. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Yes. I thought it was going to be a fight. <laughs> they all look uh, big and looming. Some guys, one guy's kind of skinny. There's a... Uh, um, one guy who looks a little fancier, armored. Ah, oh, fancy lad. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they're like, so the big guy goes, so you're going to pay? I said get lost. I'm going to only ask one more time. <laughs> Are you trying to intimidate him to get lost? Yeah. I'm gonna like puff out my chest and try to be be tough. Roll an intimidation against the sailors. Oh shit! I'm negative one. Okay, uh, <laughs> Alex, oh. language. I'm negative one. Unless unless you can think of something else you want to do to him, um, you you can try to intimidate him. Ah! Yeah, you don't intimidate <laughs> them really. They're like. They actually just like kind of laugh at your joking and it's like, huh, what a jokester. So, yeah, we've answered your question twice already. Um, I'd do an intimidation roll. And um, I'm. I can. Where, where, where am I at this moment? I'm. Am I, you I'm hear stuff. You you can do a per- perception to see if you hear it outside. Uh-huh. All right. It wasn't too threatening there. Yeah, you. Uh, they're like, they're like. Well, yeah. Not necessarily really trying care. to scare him away. I really don't care what you say. <laughs> um. So meanwhile, uh, let's Good see deal. what um, Terrapin does. Sorry, I was uh, accidentally rolling for Dunbar. Uh, do, 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 perception. Here we go. There we go. Now it now it works. There you go, and your perception. You don't hear what they're saying out there, but you hear voices. And they and seem loud. They, they okay. seem kind of, that's why you hear them. They're like, I'm coming out, voices. but I'm not, I'm coming out, but uh, not, I'm not like running at full speed. I'll just be like, because it's, um, <laughs> it, these stores are open concept places anyways. It's not like there's, you know, a metal bar on the door or something, or a metal mm-hmm. door. I'm assuming. Sure. Put you there. And Dunbar always follows you now. He uh, definitely has clinged on to you a bit. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, um, uh, what's going on out here, Thresh? Uh, someone looking to collect some money from us for standing here. You probably know what we told them. I probably know what you told them. And then I look at Arlie and go, I'm assuming you told them the same thing. Yeah, I told them to get lost. All right, then. I guess this is how it goes. And then uh, while he says that, I just sort of just reach from the back and pull out the great axe. Okay. Wow. <laughs> You didn't ask how much they wanted to, how much the tax was, or you uh, didn't want to try anything. All right. Terrapin, Terrapin would not do that. I have to be true to him, and he would not do as much as Rudy's like. <laughs> we could get out of this without having to fight somebody. <laughs> Terrapin's just like, mm, guess we're doing this. <laughs> sure, that's the barbarian way. Um. Oh. So the big guy goes. All right, that's it. And they all pull out weapons. And then you guys can all roll initiative. All right. I love this three screen thing. I got to tell you this. Nice. <laughs> I have a third screen that's downstairs. I just got to hook it up. You can become addicted. Soon it will be eight screens. <laughs> and then it's going to be the root from the architect in Matrix. <laughs> I'm just going to get one of those. Uh, New uh, Disney caves. <laughs> all screens all around you. That I have not seen. Yeah, that's uh, how they made the Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, uh, yeah, that was awesome. 
what they call them caves or vaults or something. I forget what they call them, but they call them. Um, yeah, it's awesome looking. I'd be um, happy with the like, uh, with the, the with with at least the the seven monitor setup that Kevin Smith had in uh, one of those terrible sequels of Die Hard. <laughs> um. So did everybody, everybody. Uh, Dunbar is actually with you, so you guys can you can roll. And do you, uh, Josh, since you're not there, do you want to take control of Dunbar during the battle? Uh, I don't think we need to keep moving them around. I'll, okay. I'll, I, I can take care of them if you don't want to. <laughs> That's fine. You, you might be hearing stuff. I'll, I'll give you a couple rounds, and you might be hearing st- little stuff up there so i'll say second round now third round i'll let you roll a uh, perception check to see if you hear the kerfuffle up going on up there all right guys you have three rounds to finish it <laughs> <laughs> did you roll for dunbar um, I try to i think i have to cl- i have to double click him first and then i can go yes you're getting used to. Uh, you're gonna have to get used to playing two characters. Eh, it makes it easy, at least on here. Yes. With the think, with the uh, new. Uh, Terrapin new gets to go first. I guess we're doing this. Uh, to, let's start with our exit. Terrapin just goes one, two, three, straight at this guy. You, he, he's got leather armor on there, and he has a mace and a crossbow. All right. Well. Terrapin uh, sees the the group of people. He sees that uh, Sarth and Arlie can take care of that direction, and Terrapin just runs in this direction because he goes, I got this. And uh, before anything happens, he's going to go into a rage. He's got to have a, a root, like a verbal component for like rage, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, he can, uh, well, I don't know if there is a verbal component to it, but he's just going, turtle power! (laughs) There you go, turtle power. That's his phrase. Cowabunga! I don't know if we'd have to... Reaganomics! There you go, Reaganomics. No one's going to sue us for that. I'm just just trying to think of weird, random things that uh, only existed in the 80s. All right. (laughs) Um, <laughs> Max headroom for the win. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Avoid the noise. Pat Marita. <laughs> Did I just go and attack this guy? Which I'm also frenzied, by the way. Oh, you're doing the frenzy, are you? Yeah, so I get an extra attack. You get dis. dis- no, they I get become, advantage. I, I become exhausted at the end of it. But they get advantage attacking you or not? No, that's frenzy. Oh, I thought you said. I'm oh, sorry. That's, that's 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 reckless attack. Oh, that's reckless. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Reckless attack is the one where I get they they get to uh, I get right. advantage and they get advantage on me. Right. Um, frenzy is the one where I get an I, I get a bonus attack, uh, uh, bonus um, that I get to do, but at the end of it I get exhausted. But luckily we've been doing these and then kind of going to sleep, <laughs> so we're. We've been pretty okay. But right now, attack. And I hit. You hit. Did you bullseye him with your T-16? Oh, no. I know he's a wombat, but I don't think he's a womp rat, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, is it womp rat? I had yeah, it. I no, it's, it's fine. We're, we're actually above Beggar's Canyon right now. <laughs> womp um, That yeah. was a massive wombat. <laughs> wombat goes, oh, man. Yeah, Please no, it's those. fine. And then I'm gonna just uh, I'll 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 ride away on a dewback, which I've always felt is very very sketchy name of something. Uh, I Ronto was personally my favorite. All right, let's do it again. Oh, oh. man, you kill him with two scratches with your magic great axe. One down. All right. Wombat <laughs> didn't have long for this world. Nope, but he did have square poops. And then Terrapin goes. <laughs> and and would... that's about as far as he gets before he has to stop. And 
Go ahead and thrash him. Thrashes ah! up. All right. Since my last name is Ballard, I'm going after Bullard. Bullard Bad. Gray. Uh, what's his name? Gray. Uh, Gray Tooth. And Andre. The he giant. was the bully that was. He was the big guy. Yeah, I have personalities for these guys. You already killed off uh, Wombat, who was a small, dark, and murderous-looking gentleman. And yep. he was so murderous, he got murdered. I don't know. Gray Tooth <laughs> here is a bully. A big, big bully. He got a beard. He got a beard. He's so, yeah, this guy beard. makes me think that he's trying to. That he's got a beard with a gray streak where a gray tooth might look like it's coming down. Oh, so he's a woolly bully. Gray tooth. Yeah. Don't like and him. Next, I feel, you're mimicking me. <laughs> next to him is Andre. He's very large but dim. <laughs> yeah, Andre's going to wait. He's not his oh, fault. He doesn't Andre. exercise. Andre. We bash. I'm smashing Bullard with my Greg sword. We really are full 80s right now. <laughs> Anybody want a peanut? Hey, subconscious says what the subconscious wants when we're doing these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should, Terrapin should be like, all right, let's roll out. <laughs> oh, my. What year were you born, Rudy? I don't, stop know. The I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Let me ask I'm Teddy a... Ruxpin what he thinks. <laughs> Were you in the 80s? Or as a, I was in the 80s. As an understanding, understanding person? <laughs> I understand a lot of things from when I was too young to probably understand, but I understood. I remember my second birthday party very vividly and where I lived at that time as well. I have better That's memories about cool. it than, than anyone else who lived there. <laughs> So Callet's turn is up. Callet. Callet is. Who the fuck is Callet? He's tall and oh. thin. This guy is. Okay, La La gonna... Language. Language. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I I had the map super zoomed in on Flog, and I didn't realize there was like four other people. <laughs> flog wants to flog you with Callet yeah, no. going first. <laughs> Right, right now, right now, you're about you're you're looking at Flog, but you're about to hit be hit by Kobe Calais here. <laughs> okay. And he can go one, two, three, four, five. Yes, he's gonna attack. Oh, Takes his mace job. out and attacks twice. Come on, nice job. Once, and he hits. He smacks you upside the head for five points, uh, going, that's what you get for cussing at me. <laughs> You're right, Kelly. <laughs> and then he takes his next attack with a mace and strikes you in the chin if he hits. No, and he's, you just kind of dodge out of the way. He's like, damn it. I think Arlie canonically should have Tourette's. This is... Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be no. a gift of her god. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's the, it's, it's, it's the gift of Gab. And... F oh, I'm, I thought I was Flog. I'm not Flog. I'm Bullard. Bullard the bully. I love, Bullard. I love the, the story behind that guy. I was, I was thinking um, Flog because you said Flog to me on uh, Arlie. <laughs> flog was only what I saw. No. Because you wanted to flog them. Like, I was trying to figure out why Thrash walked away. And I was like, he doesn't do magic, but I was like, maybe he does. No. Bullard pull out, <laughs> pulls out his long sword. Oh, no. And he attacks with it against Sarth Thrash. And on his first, he smacks against Thars, uh, on Thrash's armor. You got some armor, right, Thrash? I do. I'm uh, happy. And then he takes his next longsword attack and tries to smack you into the head with it. And this is Amos. Who's the boy, Amos? 
Hey, miss. And it's Arlie's turn. Fuck that. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't be behind. If I um, charm I'm gonna make a quarter somebody, jar here. <laughs> if I charm somebody, does that mean I can make them do what I want them to do, or they're just friendly towards us? I can't um, really. Doesn't really like, say there. Uh, I didn't. It just says um, the charm creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance. And um, when the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. Um, then we kill him. So he won't attack you. But it's like, I can't say, well, why don't you pay us the toll? And I, if he fails, he won't pay me. If That's he's a suggestion. Other, yeah, oh. he's probably going to see other people getting attacked, and he's not going to be mm -hmm. doing that, probably. He, he, but, he, won't, he won't attack okay. you, because he'll be like, oh, wait, you're my friend, and then run and do something else. Right, but he hates everybody uh, else still. That's the thing. <laughs> that that's 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 probably like it's a it's a great idea. I think that's more for like for RP purposes. Maybe got we could try to get it. some information out of somebody while we're at a bar or something. Got it. But got we'll it. see if you want to try. We'll, yeah, we'll do something. No, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I do. okay. But if I oops, um, but if I walk. Oh, but you hide, you attack that. with your mace against nothing. <laughs> well, I I know uh, I wasn't trying to do that. If I if I step away, Kellett gets a attack of opportunity, right? Yes, okay, unless you then. disengage, which means you can't do any other actions. Nah, screw it. I'll I'll use my hyper mace on Kellett. Do it. The hyper mace wakes you up. You feel caffeinated. And I fail. Oops. I guess I should have tried uh, magic. <laughs> it's caffeinated. It makes you feel really good because it's got a cold rune. Uh, Andre's like, me not like you, yellow face. My gosh, not many too. <laughs> He's racist against the gift. And he takes his mace and he attacks you to us. You'll reveal this when you have dinner yeah. with him. <laughs> he actually would have. He actually gets advantage, so I'm going to roll a second one. Thank on you, Josh. It. Why does he get advantage? <laughs> he gets advantage because he has pack tactics. Ooh, he's got pack tactics. Tactics is his thing. So he hits with his first attack for uh, six points. Yeah, as a reaction, I'm going to cast Hellish Rebuke. Sure, go for it. Ooh. There, hit me. <laughs> Ready, bitch. You're, you're I could scream, say bitch, like... right? Yeah, you froze up. <laughs> what happened? No, I missed. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Totally yeah, frozen. <laughs> oh, what a perfect uh, view. Too. I was gonna say it's a yeah. good spot, though. <laughs> oh, you went gray. <laughs> I'm here still. <laughs> You doing Hellish Rebuke? There I am. Uh, and he fails his save as right. the, f what, f Hellfire comes out at you? Yeah, 2D fire. It's just blasting in his face. Again, I say, bitch. Nice, nice. Even yeah, better. Hurt him. And so now he'll do, his, really got that 10. he'll do his second attack with added advantage. Is there anything else that comes from Hellish Rebuke, or is it just the... Uh, where'd you go? Uh, Hellish Rebuke, for being damaged. No, just half if they say. So, that's it. That's it. Just one second here. Um, See if you learn his lesson. Try it again. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to be off camera for a second. Uh, he takes no fire damage due to his apocalypse cloak. That's... Is it? Is it sad is it... that the first thing that I thought about when you said that dinner with him, uh, that I was looking at, I was thinking that it's just Wallace Shawn going, INCONCEIVABLE! <laughs> Being no, the connection the is 
absolutely yeah, I mean, valid. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just like, wait a minute. That's several things. Wow, I've I've taken many, many uh, references and combined them into one, and I'm happy about it. <laughs> oh, they... If it was the Kevin Bacon <coughs> game, it was absolutely <laughs> the way it's meant to be played. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> just add a weird, shot. like connection anyway because I was just going through Tumblr earlier and someone had posted something about dinner with Andre. <laughs> not, are you having dinner with Andre? Are you guys entertaining yourselves? No, he's not no. because he bet against the Sicilian when death and was on the line. So uh, the hellish rebuke happened, and now he gets a second attack, right? So if he dares, he dares gonna get some more. You can only do one hellish rebuke a turn, right. I believe. That's okay. One reaction. He doesn't uh, know that. Three points. Wow. Not as worth it. But now it's I Dunbar's turn. Okay, so. Ah, I, ah, Dunbar. Dunbar Bunderhead. Um, he change his name to Coco Beware. Coco. No. <laughs> no. This is a, this is this is a Steve original. Dunbar. I saw him at the health club. Him and Tito Santana were working out together. That's awesome. It was pretty cool. It was I a lot of time. I'd be more happy if it was Tito Jackson or Tito Puentes. I was happy with. I would be happier with Tito Santana. I guess. Yeah. Tito. <laughs> All right. All right. Dunbar. He's um. He takes out his short bow. Okay. And he aims at uh, uh, the this gentleman close by, Callet. And he uh, he gets down on one knee to steady himself. And he uses a uh, a steady aim to get uh, advantage. He talks like that. Yes. <laughs> All right. And he does a 19, make it 26. Yay, he's a good hit. Dunbar did good. All right. Nice. <laughs> and that's that's all he can do because taking aim... He can't move, so he is done with his turn. But he, he's, I guess he's looking over at Terrapin just to see if, you know, like, you see what I did? <laughs> so we have. But he's turning his whole head because, you know, parrots have their eyes on the side of their heads. This gentleman at here um, has only one eye. He's got a patch over the other eye. And Does that mean he's disadvantaged? Sometimes, yes. Well, his name doesn't have any eyes in it, so I'm assuming uh, that's a lie. No, oh, he only has one visual eye. Well, visually, I only see no letter I, so... I'm just saying. I think you lie. So he steps down here. And he takes out some spell components. And what component does he need for this? Um, a twig that looks all burnt up. And he speaks a little magic words and moves his hand around the twig. And an attack happens of range 30. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to go up a little farther. Right about there. And attacks Arlie with a witch bolt. Oh. As he yells, your language offends me. And I made a mistake <laughs> because I forgot to put disadvantage on there. So let me do it again. Uh, 
Hey, oh a 19 God. and 20. Jeez. <laughs> wow. All right, bring it on. Oh, you left so. cheat mode on, by the way. You left the, the DM cheat mode. There he you always go. does. Wish I'd had one. Always on. So, um, yes, he's got a lightning bolt going straight at uh, at Arlie, um, a witch light that's hitting her, and will continue hitting her every turn. And roll a two. Boo. Yay for you guys. Well, there is oh no R in his name. There is a A, a Y, and an E. So there is an I. Now it's Flog's turn. Flog I, comes uh, up here and gets advantage on his attacks against Arlie. Why is everyone hurting me? I don't know. I'm the one that killed someone. Yeah. <laughs> They're staying away from you. <laughs> Hits. Oh. That's why it's talk shit get hit and not kill shit get hit. <laughs> it's turtle time. Talk shit gets shot. So he attacks you twice with his mace. Of the bird aims. First time he uh, hit, but a second time he misses. And now it's, uh, no, Corey, uh, this is your first round. You're still looking around. Uh, you're coming up to a, um, a table with some uh, different slices of meat on it and stuff. Some yeah, fish. Good old time. Yeah, you found the charcuterie. <laughs> the jerky stand. <laughs> uh, Terrapin is up. Mm. Terrapin like needs water because his voice <laughs> hurts doing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna run into it. Ah, okay, wait, that's five feet. And let's fight. Terrapin, where, where did your where did your character sheet go? Okay, there it is. Ah! Are you guys still seeing us on the live? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Yep. And on the way back. Oh. You didn't kill him in this time. Just smacked no. him around good with the great axe. He's got some gashes in his body. Flog. Who, yeah. Uh, is, Take that, very, you axehole. He was a quiet one. Flog doesn't say anything. He just goes, Ugh. Ugh. And he's looking he around. A, kind he of takes a flogging. While I drink a flagon. The rash is up. All right. So I knew you were no bullard. This other guy's the threat here. So he's going after Andre now. The great sword slash. Uh, hit that die robbed you. You do a nice great sword worth of damage. Nice. That will be all. Remember what happened, big boy, last time. Run away. Coward. Getting his advantages on uh, Harley. And hits. And hits. Takes the mace and smacks you in the side of the head with it. And your dwarven head takes it for only three points. Ow, my head hurts. And get oh, a second attack. Nope, Chuck Testa. And on the second attack, he hits again. This time, trying to go after your gut. And does uh, five yeah, points of uh, damage against your liver. And you're like, ah, I've had more damage to the bar with my liver. 
<laughs> Large time. Uh, Graytooth looks at Thrash and he goes, You think I'm a weakling? I will attack again. You're an imposter. At first, you don't succeed. And he misses on that first attack. And this is on the second attack. And he cusses again. Well, you know, they say trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. The definition of insanity. Arlie, you're up. All right. Speaking I of am... insanity. Oh. All right. <laughs> I am going to cast Guiding Bolt on Merkin One Eye, whatever his name you're, is. Is that uh, attack? Uh, it's a spell. Oh. Uh. Yeah, it is. You'll be at disadvantage because you got enemies next to you. Uh, no, that's okay. Thank you for letting me know. Um, now, if I just do a regular hyper mace to call it, is that a disadvantage or just no, no, a... no? Okay, it's only oh, if you're shooting with a bow witch... or some distance. Witch... Witch no, no, no. Thing? It's because you're shooting out of uh, of uh, uh, like you're you're in melee uh, attack right oh, now. Oh, you're you're actually fighting somebody, and yeah, shooting yeah. out of while you're fighting somebody else is gives you disadvantage. You're kind of uh, dodging yeah. at the same time. If you did a spell that only had a save, you'd be fine. But if it has an attack, uh, roll, you have ooh, but you do a good wow. nine damage against Cal. Nice max damage. Where did your mace hit him? It hit him right in the butt. <laughs> yeah, he was, was turning scared. around as you as you looked like you were gonna shoot your spell, and you didn't do shoot it. He's like his his back is a little too are you, and you like smacked him right in. He's like, whoo! Yeah, yeah, he liked it. it was Nine points of damage. That hurt, man. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> you, good you, for Arlie. You busted his coccyx up a bit. It's not gonna Ooh. sit for a while. Heck yeah, Andre. He's down hurting. Let's see if he sticks around. Is he wise enough to stick around? He will run. Oh, oh that was a good attack. I think I will go get this attack. Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. He disengages. I'm late for my Run dinner away. with Wallace Shawn. Play with us. That would have been such a better movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Stop rhyming. <laughs> Are you eating chicken parmesan? That's terrible. All right. Um. Would you like to hear a parable? Not while I'm acting. <laughs> All right. Uh, down on one knee again. Short bow. Against who? Against Flog. Oh. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got the Dunbar Bunderhead curse on them. <laughs> Well, Yo, Bunderhead. That was awful. Wow. Was the Dunbar worst start. Well, you know, he has a he he's he's been kicked off every boat he's ever been on because they've all sunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if he's being kicked Dun off. Dunbar or... was trying to fill the hole in with arrows. So no one's hiring him anymore, so that's why he's found a stranger in town. <laughs> Doodle. But that's his backstory. Find this thing. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> that's all he says. So, I Macrion One Eye picks up his. Uh, what's he gonna do next here? He is going to try to do another spell. A shimmering green arrow appears 
as um, he pulls out a powdered rhubarb leaf and mixes some adder stomach powder with it, and it puffs into this uh, acid arrow made in the name of Melf, and it he goes Milf them and throws it as a. I'm sorry. Did you say in the name of Milf? Melf. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you I for that. I heard milk too. <laughs> Thank you for that clarification. I appreciate Sophia it. Sophia Loren's acid arrow. <laughs> it was a male elf of the first D and D player, and they named him Melf. Okay, Melf. Melf. <laughs> I remember Melf. <laughs> oh boy! And Melf the Melf. In the name uh. of Melf. He's going to attack Thrash because Thrash is uh, <laughs> right there. Because Thrash is not making fun of him currently. <laughs> and he's scared of him. <laughs> Shaking in your boots, I see it. Oh, I saw a 20 roll around there and it became a 2. That's right. <laughs> I'm thinking the, the deity Milf takes the form of a, of a, of a wild cougar. <laughs> and then he's actually got that at a disadvantage, so that would have been a reroll anyway. Since he hit. So okay. He cusses a little and he backs up. <laughs> as he oh. sees Andre running away. Yeah, darn right. Mer Merican. Merkin. Whatever. No, oh, Merkin's a different thing. Well, isn't up. that his name? Uh Macrian. Macron. From Mr. Frost. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, yes. He's, act he's attacking Terrapin. Now, does he get pack tactics if he's attacking uh, an ally within five feet of the creature and an ally is an incapacitated? Hey, did I miss out on opportunity attack when Andre pulled away? He withdrew. He, with okay. uh, he, he disengaged. disengaged. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe you only get pack tactics if I'm touching, or if there another one of the bad guys is next to me or or next to him. I thought so too, but I just read it. The thug, sorry, these are thugs. There you go. Has an advantage like on thing, an attack like roll against a creature if at least one of the thug's allies is within five feet of the creature. Right, so it's got to be next uh, to me. Right. He doesn't gotcha. have to be uh, attacking that creature. He just has to be next to that creature. So he's right. not next to Terrapin. No! So it's just normal two attacks against Terrapin. And is it a 20? No. Why am I getting twos left and right? Oh, poor you. Oh, well, the two, 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 two zero. I hit with a 19. Yay. Of course. Because you turned off DM cheat mode. <laughs> <laughs> you we were on you. Yes, that was oh, it. Oh, you got no clip on. I could see you walking through walls. <laughs> Corey is now on his second turn. He is starting to walk back down the street, almost to where the street splits up to the to the higher street of uh, up on the escarpment. And um, that's your turn for now. And we go to Terrapin. All right. Terrapin is going to slip between Arlie and Flog. So that he's right here. Okay. And he's going to do a sweeping motion. So he's going to first attack Flog. And hit. And... Hit. and And it's he's going to continue yeah. continue the sweeping motion Flug in this direction. Down. Boom! Right into Callet. Oh! Nice. Can you smack into Callet for enough to not kill him? Oh, so close! And then I I I just end before I. Before the end of my turn, I just look him right in the eyes after I stab him with the, the axe and go, ah! <laughs> just like with the beak open and everything. Open and everything. Okay. okay. Thrash is up. You know, it's going to turn out these are actual tax collectors, and every person you kill is really going to make your bail high. 
<laughs> yes, the mayor comes over and goes, hey, where's my tax collectors? <laughs> Oops. Him and the oh. sheriff of Rottingham have died. I'm still going. Mr. Mayor, can I borrow your prisoners so I can go get the cultists? Ooh, nice hit. Thank you. Hopefully nice damage. The great uh, sword yeah. slashes in the... Where, what part of the body are you slashing him with that one? Arm. His arm is probably, yeah, his left arm, non-fighting arm is almost off. Nice. I like it. I wish I could swing again, but I cannot. His most vital organ, his beard. <sighs> Chalet's turn. He is going to see if he sticks around. <laughs> Pretty wise. Is he? Is he? Is he? I doubt it. He is not enough. He's not wise enough. I got my axe in his side. <laughs> he is yeah, angry. Yeah, I'm butt with a mace. He's going to attack Terrapin first. And then attack Arlie second. And crits on Arlie. Ooh. I should turn that off again. <laughs> <laughs> he all admitted it. We have a video evidence. For 10 oh points of damage, God. Arlie got... Oh, you got smacked die. big time with his die. mace. You're all seeing right. stars. <laughs> and Great Tooth, he's seeing what's going on. Will he be wise enough to go? He's angry, though, so we don't know. I think he should stay. He does. He needed a 15 because he's so angry. So he will attack with his longsword twice. He's a mad lad. And he hits with the first one. Oh, finally got one in. Finally? I know. That's been a long time. <laughs> you let him have it. And then... Yes. He has a special attack with his longsword. So first he does damage. But he doesn't have a shield, so he does D10 plus 2 for 11 points of damage. And then he makes you do a strength saving throw. And you succeed so you don't drop your weapon. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Maybe you are a bullard after all. Arlie's up, all hurt. Oh, oh, oh God. Um. Uh, uh, uh. You ju you just saw Terrapin like open his uh, mouth and like, like like stab this guy in the side and go. Rah! I I don't know. It's probably stupid. Um. I feel like I can really finish this person off. So I'm going to go ahead and cast Healing Word. My oh, well. bonus action. That is a good okay. bonus action. Ooh, Max. Okay. Max heal. All That's right. Nice. And then I'm going to take this mace right in the tallet. What was your healing it. word? Yes. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> No one understands your word, but you hit him. <laughs> That's what and you kill him. Trying to take my money. Jerk. How do you kill him with your mace? I'm gonna slash him right on the neck. And just bring it right through. So his, his neck's just like hanging a little. And his body crumples down to the ground. Yeah. You can't take my money. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that is my turn. That's what I keep telling the government. Oh. Is it useless yeah. to make role playing uh, choices in this game? <laughs> <laughs> so this guy goes around the corner and disappears. Andre is gone. Dunbar is up. 
All right. Um, all right. Ah. Uh, what is his range? Uh, jeez. Short bow. Short bow. Short bow. Uh, eighty. That's pretty good. Yeah. So he's still on his knee. He's taking his knee, and now he's aiming at Bullard. And he's gonna try to try to hit him from here. This time he turns his whole head to the side, so he because he's looking with his actual eye now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Corey. The battle might be over before you get a chance. Oh, that's he is terrible. Not a problem. We want Dunbar to go back to the pirate ship sinking. He's the thing is he's all steady. He you see him like getting ready. He aims. He's very confident. Let's go. It just completely misses every time now. But he hits something. <laughs> Yes, uh, he hit the the wall behind um, Bullard. Yes, the tenement window is like getting these arrows stuck in it. <laughs> ah, huh. mm-hmm. He is seeing the world, but he start uh, having trouble around him <laughs> but he also sees this boss there having trouble so he still will stick around and he will try another uh, uh milf i mean melf's acid arrow and he hits oh my um. And I believe I forgot the witch's bolt. Does the witch bolt need concentration? Is she um, a disadvantage before too? Why would he have disadvantage? Oh, his eyes. You're Does right. it keep going if you move out of range? He's going to miss. Gonna miss. Spell ends if you use your action to do anything else. So yeah, so he's it ended when he did his other spell. So, but you're right. He has to attack with his acid arrow a second time because of his disadvantage. So I will roll it again. And he misses. You're correct. Uh, his one eye just didn't give him the chance. It's not his fault. He doesn't have death depth recession or depth perception or death procession or. And he's starting to start noticing him, but you still see him, but he's kind of walking around the. <laughs> the corner there but he has light um, cover now so negative two to hit if anybody tries to shoot him or spell attack him and it's um, Corey's turn and you can do a perception check with advantage now because you're getting uh, you're, there's kind of yelling and stuff this one coming And you made the 15. So you hear him, and I will give you a double movement to get you right at the edge of this battle. So you're right there. And let's just say you are now right here. Let's see. About right there. Can you see him? Yes. But that was it for your turn. You can say something to a you can yell or something. Nah, not really Corey's style. Okay, she didn't want to do anything. <laughs> Pass your turn then. Terrapin. Yeah, that's that's not Corey's style, but Terrapin's like ah. <laughs> <laughs> And he just sort of like, just sort of like, jumps in jumps and great axe. That's it. That's it. He gone. And you ah. smack, slash him into what? <laughs> uh, in half. All right. 
<laughs> it's a great axe that's plus one. Uh, the coroner is not going to like you. He can go back to his corner. At least you make the cause of death easy to determine. <laughs> cause of death, bisection. <laughs> Right. Um, uh, this it, this Macrion is run. He, he's he's around the corner, right? You can still see a part of him. All right, one, two. That's about as far as I can go. It's his turn. No, it's Thrash's turn. Thrash's turn. I hate that. I, it doesn't uh, automatically focus on the next character, so. I always think that's whoever I chose last is the voice. This is his turn. He's got a glow around him. Oh, no, it's not. Like, where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah. Yes, Eldritch Flash. Oh. Uh. <laughs> The blast goes and hits that rock behind him and rocks them around. It's like, damn it! It's because of that, that, that bastard that wanted to give me that book. <laughs> Nilothotep? His long name escapes me now. Yes, thank you. It's because of him. I feel it. And it's Arlie's turn. Alrighty, I am going to use a first level spell slot and um, what was I doing? Oh, I'm going to shout dinosaur at Sarth and try to heal him a little bit. You do? Yeah, and then hold on. Well, from right over there, huh? Yeah, 60 feet. That's awesome. Uh, okay. I, that's a probably a bad idea to You're going to heal him up, too? Oh. <laughs> no, no. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm no good at the spell management shit, but I want to <laughs> cast, uh, I mean, stuff. Stuff, children. Um, that worked good I'm for going, me. Thank you. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolts right into him. The bolt guides past him and hits that same boulder, man. That big rock's getting hurt left and right. What the? Who, who put that there? Who put that there? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. And it's someone's turn. Whose turn is it? Uh, Dunbar's turn again. Who has not really helped your party at all. Uh, yes. Dunbar is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think he's still gonna just—he's gonna do. Yeah, yeah. No, he's—he's he's within he's, range. He's doing the same thing he's been doing. One of he's these very, days. He's very adamant about it. The odds will be with him one day. You got this one. All right. All right. Yay! Yay! Yahoo! He hits him right next to his one eye. Ah. Ah. And he is not liking this, so he goes around the corner and Aww. disappears. You need it. All right. All right. Um, you wanna? I, can I uh, search the dead bodies for, for coin? You could, yes. Do a uh, perception check. They better have money. They wanted ours. They might have wanted ours because they didn't have any of their own. Uh, you go through the what there's 
uh, four people, right? Because you two went away. So four yeah. people's pockets. And you find some belay pins, those pen, those things for the boats. And you find some, um, you know, hooks. And you find some buckets of tar. And you find no money. But a couple of IOUs. They look like they <laughs> owe money. These are the saddest sailors. You want to take the IOUs? Can. You can. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm just gonna rip up the become the new tax collector. No, let's do it. Uh, it's like it's the heavy. it's like the movie The Santa Claus. You take the yeah, you you take the tabs, and now you get to collect. <laughs> or Riddick, okay. keep what you kill. Yes, exactly. It, I'm too lazy to be a tax collector. This is the way. Can you believe none of them had any coin? Yeah. We were their first Shut collections up. today. Talk about that. You each get 200 experience points for just hurting them. Da, 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 da. You mean Terrapin gets 400 and they have to split the rest? <laughs> In first edition, yes, that's how it would work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, did you see Dunbar didn't get any because he was bad? Yes, He's I don't have him in there yet. Yeah. But I might put him up a level so his master I was gonna goes say, up a level. You, yeah, I was going to say you might just, just bring him up when we all level up, I guess. Yeah, he'll be one level under Terrapin and he'll just go up as Terrapin goes up. Yeah, you know, I feel shooting from the for short bow from behind everybody is, that seems like a Dunbar thing. <laughs> yes, yes it does. Alrighty, and as you finish, Corey comes walking in, I guess. <laughs> Say anything, Corey? So I guess I would be about here when I come across the first body. Yes. <laughs> a a uh, Terrapin special. <laughs> hey, we don't know what happened. <laughs> Can't leave you people alone for a moment. Nope. Not us. You see, like, Terrapin turn over and look at you and the just, like, is smile. The you just bought, though, too, right? What's that now? The axe you have is one that you just bought here? No, no. this this axe I've been carrying around since the catacombs. What I just bought here was a, a short sword and a shield. Okay. Um, but uh, those are... That's for... If I uh, I want to, you know, do a little bit less damage, but have a little bit more uh, AC. So are we going to have to go soon there? Uh, she compliments you. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's do one thing before we go. We're going, you're going to, are you, where are you going to go now? Um, maybe uh, it's getting in the afternoon you can go uh eat some lunch and wait for the uh the play if you want to yeah let's get some pheasant right. yeah i definitely need a nap or two yeah because uh turtles they love to eat birds in case you didn't know so what we're going well, to do here is do this are you guys in the stream in tavern we'll know if they have i am in the stream yes yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, everybody seeing this? Ooh, yes. very nice. Ooh, mossy. So I'm going to let it run. So this is where you just fought. So there's the tenement. There's the armor, the cleaves. You guys fought in this area right here. <laughs> they came, they snuck between the buildings here. There's some woods, but little trees back there. And so the way I figured out to have it run smoothly is um, record it and let it go. <laughs> gotcha. That makes sense. Mm. So I uh, show the battle scene kind of twice here. And now we should be able to go on to the next section. Yes.
So you walk back through town, you see the churches up on Church Street here. All right. Oh, there, there they are. There's the churches. Yes, I'm a second or two behind, aren't I? Oh, no, you're good. Oh, very nice. I want I want to play this video game. You are. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, going hey, down, the hill, down the hill here. Yes. yes. You go back to near all the uh, market stands. Very nice. Very nice. There's the one where you bought the clothing with the mayor. <laughs> Ooh. Next to the well, the town well. And there's the uh, tower on the edge of the, uh, the uh, seashore. And now you're going to go up to... Uh, I forget the name of this street for some reason. It's boggling me. We haven't had 3D in a while, so I kind of wanted to showcase yeah. it. I like it. It's very, very cool. And eventually down the street, you will get back to the Blind Rat Inn for the end of our uh, adventure. I think we're hearing footsteps as we go through, too, on the stream. A lot of escarpments here in this fjord-like place of the town. And my stream is not showing anything, so tell me when you're in the uh, in the inn. I can't uh, see what we're seeing. Looking oh, at the oh, inn, press E to open. Yep. Yep. In the inn. And now you see the, <laughs> the troop. <laughs> and the what troop is all getting ready to play their play. I'm that is that's really cool that's really cool but very Whoa. scary at the same time seeing them all just around the corner staring at you like, <laughs> like they're I gonna hang out with that green guy I was gonna say seeing their lifeless eyes staring back at you it's like hanging out in the Chuck E. Cheese yeah uh, I like that one of us one of us spend all it's your dungeons and pizza alrighty we're done Corners only, no tokens or slugs. <laughs> well, that was it for today. We will pick up there, um, hopefully next week. No, yes. no promises for us, but we seem to always come back. I love this game. This this world is really fun, and I'm very immersed in it. I can't wait to see what else is going to happen, especially now that it's been a couple months since we heard about this. Uh, this Build this, up. Yeah, this play. This, 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 or just not play this troop, whatever that they're going to do. Yeah. Yes. Terrapin wasn't listening to what they do. He just knows that it's like, oh. It's some sort of performance. Performers. Yeah. <laughs> all righty, guys. Um, I will talk to you all soon, I guess. And I will see everybody who's watching this later also. Um, so have a great week or two or three or four or whenever you watch this in the future. Bye. See you all.